Hello, I'm Morgan from Does It Offend You Yeah, and you're watching E Rockstar. Welcome to E Rockstar. We're here with Dan and Morgan from Does It Offend You Yeah. How are you guys doing? Hi, right, it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you enjoying uh, the tour so far? We've only done. Uh, one date. Oh, is it one date we've done? Two dates and uh, they've both been sold out so it's been really good. Uh, we weren't really expecting it but yeah, the tour's been brilliant. I mean, what? I just got a second there, really. <laughs> That's it, really, yeah. No, it's been really good. People seem to be sort of res quite responsive to the music, you know, or like jumping up and down and sort of having a good time. So. That's really, really good. But after this, you guys are going on the road with Nine Inch Nails. We're not really, well, I suppose we're going on the road with them. We're sort of like having a sleepover, really, because it's just two dates. So we see Trent and we spend the night with him and then, you know, we do another show and then we leave, you know? And then we're doing some dates of block party as well, which is lots of nights. We met you guys first out at, out at Coachella, and since then you guys have been doing some other summer festivals. What's your favourite festival so far? I really like Coachella because I got to see Portishead. What I didn't like is you couldn't take a beer out to watch the bands. That's really annoying. Um, whereas England, it's just sort of like you can go anywhere. And we've been all around Europe and we did sort of like most of the main ones. So yeah, they're all pretty much the same. You just get there, turn up, do your gig and then just try and like chill out in the bus or just go and like talk to random people. They're all, they're all great. I preferred Coachella, I think. I don't know, something about the vibe was really good, you know, and, and the bands, the caliber of the bands was really high. Like in all the other festivals we've been to, it's like just the same bands going around and just doing this kind of... We played Glastonbury and they have like a, a DB limit, which is like a sound cap, you know? So like you'd be watching a band and you'd be able to talk to your friend being like five rows from the front. So I really didn't enjoy Glastonbury that much. You know, but yeah, Coachella was like deafening. So it was really good. I've seen you guys playing. It definitely looks like you're having fun up there. What do you guys do to you know, kind of keep it you know, new and fresh and make it look like you're having so much fun in, in all these different size venues? I don't know. Each tour seems to develop a theme, you know? Like the enemy tour, it was like WWF. <laughs> That's what got us ready for every show. Like we watched like, I don't know, Ultimate Warrior interviews or Paul Bearer and Undertaker interviews every night. And I'm serious, man, that would really get me going. Like, I just watched Ultimate Warrior and I'd just be like, right, I'm ready. I think we, we all just pump us up, pump ourselves up naturally. We just sort of got this little routine that we do before we go on. It's kind of like a little group hug kind of thing but yeah no it's like I think we do quite well on stage just because we really like being in front of people what else do you guys have lined up in terms of uh, your next album we finished touring in November and then I think we've got like three months to write it so uh, we've got like uh, little bits lying around but uh, we haven't got anything finished yet we've done remixes for um, Raconteurs, Muse, uh, Block Party. So yeah, it's. I haven't. No, no one. Le, no one's let me remix a tune yet. Just because, like, I can't really do dance floor bangers. You know, I just do really strange out there remixes. But uh, I'll probably do one soon. Or maybe not. Or maybe. Maybe I will. <laughs> really excited about this band in the UK at the moment called We Have Band. You know, brand new group, like they're just, I think they're probably going to get signed in the next few months. But amazing, like when I, we went, I went home between a tour, I went out to a bar in Camden and then this band came on and just like started playing and I was like, what's this? Went inside and the whole room was just like dancing to them, you know, which is rare in London, really super rare. And there's a band in England uh, we've played with a few times called Late of the Pier, and I think they're really good, so check them out. I think you've heard of a band called Burzum. It's like Norwegian black metal band, one of them's in jail at the moment. Do you guys want to tell us where, where the name Does It Offend You Yeah came from? When we first started writing sort of like electro tracks, when it was just us like on a uh, laptop really, um, we, we wanted to put our name on MySpace but we didn't know uh, what to call ourselves, so we just switched on the TV and we said whatever comes on first, we'll just use as the name. And uh, there's a show called The Office on it. Changing yeah. Room didn't come Yeah, out. luckily. Well, diagnosis Murder. Well, yeah. That That's a great. wicked name for a band, actually. <laughs> diagnosis Murder. Yeah. 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 Oh. Matlock. Yeah, like Matlock. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, to his company, or what else? Different strokes, there we yeah, go. Benson. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, Benson. <laughs> well, uh, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Ricky Gervais said, does it offend you? Yeah, so I just typed it in, pressed enter, and we didn't think we'd get to where we are now, so it wasn't such a huge thing. But now it's kind of caused this big controversy about is it a crap band name, is it a good band name, or whatever. We don't really care, to be honest. It's been fun hanging out and talking to you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in LA and the rest of your time in America. And I look forward to seeing what you guys do next. To watch more of these interviews, go to erockster.com, where you can also check out music and videos on demand from these artists and hundreds more, as well as listen to our stream 24-7. Thanks for watching.